Hello and uh, welcome to the second part uh, of my C++ Lua tutorials. Uh, in the last part we covered this. Just simple setup and how to execute the simple string of code, Lua code. In this video I will show you how to uh, execute a script file. So, start by going to where you have where you saved your project so in this case I saved it to my desktop called Lua text this is the main folder and I go into it, the folder where all my uh, source files and header files are in here I could pretty much create a new text file called uh, like script dot change the extension to Lua script.lua okay so open it up in notepad or whatever and yeah close everything else and now we can do the same print hello from lua okay so that's the basic script we want to execute go back to your lua and um, pro program project and remove this now, we want to execute a file, so we pretty much do lua l do do file and pass in the state as first argument, the l <coughs> and the file name. So in our case, it was script.lua. So script.lua, right? And this should actually do the same thing as our last hello from lua. So it did the exact same thing, except it got it from a file this time. Now, if you know Lua scripting, you can do pretty much anything. Now, you can create a variable, set it to 10. You can print that out, just like that. And you see 10. Now, let's... <coughs> Let's see how we, ha if we have a variable uh, x and it is 10, how do we actually uh, get it? How can we access it from C++? That's a pretty important part in scripting. So let's first of all keep that line. So this do file function pretty much executes the script once. And it stores everything it executed, it keeps it as data until you either close the state or until you do another file. <laughs> so something I forgot was the Lua close and pass in the state. That's important for memory leaks and stuff. Um, yeah, I forgot that in the last tutorial. So, this pretty much does the file, executes it, stores it, and keeps it there for you to use. So, this variable is a global variable. To make it local, you pretty much ha only have to add this local before it. But we're going to keep it global, and it's called x. So, Lua. Get global. This will return any global functions, variable names, stuff like that. And our variable is called x, so that's what we want to search for. Now it pushes, if it finds this variable, it pushes it to the, stop, to the top of the stack. So Lua keeps its information in stack, in stacks like this. And our x variable is here. Top of the stack, and then a bunch of other variables are down there. And here is where we are. So, if we want to access this variable, we have to say negative one, right? And this negative two, and so on and so forth. That's important to know. So 
what we want to do is we create our own variable called x and we set it to Lua um, to number as in the state and here we go the index where we are in the stack this variable now is and is at, it is at the top stack so we can do minus negative one right that's all we have to do now to make sure we've got the right uh, value we can just print it right so print it out and uh, start it and you see 10 10 uh, if we change this to 16 it will print 16 all right so what if we don't have a variable what if this variable is called y how do we what will happen well it will print zero it won't work you won't it won't find any variable with that name maybe we want to check so we don't get any unnecessary errors or something so what we can do then is set it to zero by default we can have an if state. So if uh, Lua is number, if we use is number, that will make sure that whatever we are checking for, uh, whatever we are checking for is a number. So if we so if it is a number, print it out. Maybe print out what's a number else if not just print out variable not found all right okay try it out and variable not found awesome now instead of negative 1 if you want to get the top of stack you can do low lua get top And it should still variable not found. And if you change this back to x in the script, but what's the number 16? So negative 1 and Lua get top is the exact same thing. Alright. This was. Here we covered the number variable, a, a number variable. But what if we change this to string of text, right? No, you, you should be able to do that. If you run variable not found because it wasn't a number. But if we instead change it to is string and to string and change the x to a string, and we need then also need to include the string library. So we have our x variable string. We check if it is a string. Then, we ask if it is a string, we assign it to the x variable and we print it out. Let's try it. And uh, we get an. Oh, right. We have to assign the string to a string value. Was a number. String of text. Yeah, well, was a number. It wasn't a number. It was a string. And there we go. String of text. You can do the same with booleans, and yeah. So now you know how to get variables from Lua. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you watch the next tutorial as well. So goodbye.